welcome to the first episode of It's Those Guys E3 Review! E3 Review Spectacular Special... Yay! So yeah, we more or less saw E3 and we're going to... I don't know, recap, review, and whatever. So, uh... Let's start with... Well, let's go in the order they had it here. Let's start with Microsoft. And, well, I miss most... I miss all the Microsoft conference because I was at work, but uh, Connor here... Um, watched it because I held his favorite kitten hostage and threatened to kill it if he didn't watch the Microsoft conference. So you want to go ahead and uh, recap what you saw? Well, for the record, you feel very guilty considering contemplating trying to kill a kitten, by the way. And That's true, except you didn't really have a kitten, so... Anywho... Um, I'm off track. Um, yeah, so first Microsoft press conference, the whole uh, feed was about over two hours long. It starts off with Spike you know, that crap, those idiots or whatever. Yeah, Spike TV, suddenly they think they're all, oh, we're Spike TV, we're Stuff Men Like. I think, actually, I think it used to be one of their, uh, used to be their logo, like Stuff Men Like or something like that. Well, I don't know, I haven't been around that long. Or has Spike been around a little bit? Yeah, it's been around for a while, we just don't have cable, so. How long has Spike been around, anyway? I don't know. Didn't they have Monday Night Raw on their channel? Yeah, yeah anyway. on TNN for a while. Uh, so it opens up, aren't they, uh, purchased by Microsoft in... Stuff. Probably they are probably are now. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Microsoft opens up. You got these five people. Blah 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 blah. Nobody cares. So finally they get to the the uh, press conference where that one guy who looks like he's brainwashed comes out and basically talks about how they're going to show off the games here. Well, Go on. I was playing Monster. I didn't hear all, everything he said. Oh, that's right. You were doing the. So anyway, yeah, basically they introduced, you know, they, they finally started, they brought back Killer Instinct, yay. Yeah, but not the Killer Instinct, everybody loves. Well, and here's like some, some supposed to be like a downloadable title or something like that, I don't know. Because Microsoft and EA hate people. And it's not even made by Rare, I don't think. Or at least it, uh, either that or it has a Rare name on it, and it's not just, it's just not a... Rare lost their source when they were bought by Microsoft so long ago. It's not so much that, it's just that Microsoft just kind of buried them and did like... Microsoft is quickly becoming the Disney of the game. They, they did one, one game. The no, they did Perfect Dark. It's a Perfect Dark game, and there was Banjo Kazooie, and then they just did Viva Pinata, and you didn't hear from Rare for like twenty years. So, <laughs> like the, some people say, Donkey Kong Country on the Super Nintendo was the first and last good game Rare ever made. Oh, they had a pretty good couple of good games on C4, like Jet Force Gemini and Diddy Kong Racing and all that fun stuff. Yeah, that was like the last year. And they introduced, uh, what was that game? Something Dragon? Crimson Dragon? The one game you thought actually looked good? Yeah, it, the only game that looked good, and it had no friggin' sound. Yeah, oh yeah, they had like, what, they had like sound issues? Yeah, they had sound issues. Uh, the one good game they have, and you can't fucking hear yeah, it. the sound issues. It was pretty much, uh, it's supposed to be the spiritual sequel to, uh, Panzer Dragoon from the Sega, from the days of Sega Never Saturn. played that game. Uh, what was it, a Sega Saturn game? It's pretty... I never, I never played it. It was some kind of shooter game where you're on a flying dragon and shooting things. Going back to Killer Instinct for a second, that was a terrible uh, uh, showing they did on stage. It didn't look that... Um, uh, I, I thought the game didn't look that bad, but it looked pretty much just like... Street Fighter 4. Uh, Street, yeah, pretty much like the Street Fighter 4. Like the mob, whatever. the character mods could have passed for that or something like and that. And the two uh, people they had playing up there, it wasn't going well. Oh, uh, well, every time, they, every time they have people playing games, demonstrating games, it just goes horribly wrong. And I'm going to actually have more on that later. <laughs> when I get to the, explain when that. I get to the Ubisoft conference, oh, that was just a uh, So there was that I didn't and see uh, that. You know, they're also doing Battlefield 4. So, ooh, look, Battlefield 4, which isn't ooh, that more FPS. It's not that ah. special because Battlefield 4 is coming out for what? PS3, Xbox 360 as well. And it's like the same thing with Call of Duty. Call of Duty everybody's getting Call of Duty. Yeah. And it's Call of like, Duty's of course going to bury every other game. That Call of Duty is like, it's like a doorknob. Everybody gets a turn. It's, gonna, it's on the Wii U for, for God's sakes. I've got those people who are going to use this a bit. got to play my duties. Yeah, sure, nobody's really going to play the Wii U version, but it's there. So, you know, if, it's not that special. If they can run it on like the other system, Battlefield 4 is not going to be on the Wii U because EA is like really just mad at Nintendo. Which, by the way, Nintendo EA must just be 
must just be in love with Microsoft right now because Microsoft's doing everything that EA just loves in game console with restrictions and everything like that. And even if the whole Nintendo Origins thing panned out, I think after this, EA probably would have left Nintendo and just went to Microsoft anyway. Uh, now if Microsoft and EA fused with Disney, the world is it. The world ends. Now, uh, yeah, so basically like... Not uh, kidding. Yeah, that'll the happen. The gaming world is all over if that ever happens. We'll, we'll deal with that in the Corporation Wars of 2020. But anyway, when we get to that, don't worry about it. Um, so, <laughs> uh, let's see, what else? Um, anything else from the Microsoft one? Yeah, they pretty much didn't deny anything that they were doing. Everybody thought, oh, no, they're going to do this. And, yeah, they did it anyway. So, you know, the restrictions, the DRM, and all that other crap, it's it's there. Yeah. Very much confirming every bad rumor that was floating around. And they didn't... I was like, they're like oh, we're going to pick select retailers. You can uh, trade gay... I don't even know how that works. I mean, that makes There's no, no excuse for what they're doing. That makes absolutely no sense. I don't know how that's, how that's going to work. There's no excuse for what they're doing, bottom line. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, they showed my... And all that other stuff. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just jump ahead to the... Because, like I said, I didn't pay much... I didn't really see the... Uh, I did not see the Microsoft conference. I was at work. Um, but I did come in, I watched like probably like the second half of the Ubisoft conference. Um, what about uh, EA? We should do that first. Oh, yeah, EA. Well, basically, I know EA is a basically. You know, you know, I'll just uh, cut you off right there. Let me sum up EA for you Dragon Age 3. Okay, let's move on to Ubisoft. Yeah, they did their EA games, and they, they did a trailer for Dragon Age I heard Age they 3. had some really horrible rapping segments. Probably. Uh, the, the acting at E3 is always horrible. I don't know why they keep trying to do that. They probably like some rapper nobody's ever heard of. And they introduced, uh, you know, they did the show for Dragon Age 3, which is going to be on the Xbox One. Hopefully, I don't know, it just said next generation consoles. It didn't say it was going to be on PS4 or not. Um, I, I, it's like, it looks alright, and like, I'm a huge Dragon Age fan, but I'm not a huge EA fan. So I'm kind of like, I want to play the game, but I, I, like, I fucking hate EA. Maybe, you know, eventually when I get a PS4, I'll pick it up later on. Speaking of EA, have you heard they want to stop being hated? Yeah, but, you know, that's, they got a long <laughs> that's way to not gonna stop being hated. That'll never happen. Um, you know, maybe if you actually listen to your customers and stop, like, just lowering the band hammer on them. How was EA back in the 80s and 90s when they were first around? I don't, I don't even know when EA started. I don't, I don't think they were doing it in the 80s. Um, yeah, you know, stop, stop, like, just... Throw the band hammer at every little complaint, and you know, stop it with the whole. I mean, oh, we got rid of online passes. That wasn't even the biggest problem. EA yeah, has. It's just. Uh, it's, it's funny because back when EA said they're stopping online passes, you knew there was a trick. You, you know knew what? something was coming. You, you want to stop being hated, EA? Kill Origins. If you get rid of Origins, I'll fucking buy your games. And just that's stop the, it with Origins bullshit. It doesn't stop Origins. You need to fix everything. Which you won't, though. Origins is a but big if, step, though. If you I mean, get rid of Origins, then this other stuff is I mean, I'm afraid like, of, I'm like, because, like, like I said, if Dragon Age four, Dragon Age 3 would come out on the PS4 and I eventually get it, I want to have to deal with Origins bullshit. I won't be able to just play the game. But, you know, you get rid of Origins and uh, we'll talk. <laughs> You're starting to get in the right we direction. We might actually consider buying your games off of PC or something. So, whatever. Oh, we're going to need, like, more. Oh, we're so gonna need, like, take away the fact PCs. that we have to sell our souls to you just to play your games. Then maybe we'll uh, play It's not so much that. Oh, yeah, stop locking shit on your disc. If you want to add DLC, like, later on, a couple months later, fine, whatever. I'm not going to complain about that, about that. But if I'm going to pay the $67 for the initial game, everything that's on it, just make it available. Back in 2009, with the original Dragon Age, they did DLC right with that. They waited, like, every I don't four know. or five months, then they released it. I don't know if they did or didn't, because like, I didn't know too much about the whole DLC thing back then. I thought, ooh... DLC, and I didn't get the shit later on. Back then, DLC was still done right. Now it's just boop, boop, boop. Now it's stuff locked on this, so uh, there's that. And I, I don't know if Capcom... Cap, oh, yeah, Dead Rising 3 or Capcom. I think it's the only thing they even showed. Dead Rising 3. Oh, yeah. there was Mirror's Edge 2. That's the EA conference. Um, Actually, from what I heard, EA... Uh, not uh, Mirror's Edge 2 does not have a solid release date. It was just a trailer. No, no, I, I never... Uh, Japanese com gamers are complaining about this. Don't know why. I, I didn't play the first Mirror's Edge. I thought it looked stupid. Oh, look, I'm running in first person. Right? The uh, the whole, if the I whole... want to run in first person, I'll go actual running. Everything I do is in first... <laughs> Everything I do is in first person, so... so. The whole... The original Mirror's Edge just revolved around parkour and all that crap. Yeah, so... Like, it looks like, was like She was, like, kind of fighting people. I don't know if you didn't like that. I don't the, the, the funniest thing about uh, Mirror's Edge was that... Everything was monotone colored. It was usually white, orange, and the only time, and if, usually white, and the only time there was, if 
and very rarely you'd find red. And if it was red, you could interact with it. So yeah, that was the EA one. Um, I didn't see... I saw the second half of Ubisoft one when Alicia Taylor was hosting it. I, I, I don't know why. I mean, mm. that was... Uh, just, just, you know, whatever. Uh, she's hot and all, but I don't know why she had the go to the Gozerian haircut going on. Ugh. And I don't know what the fuck Girlwood has to do... Hashtag Girlwood across her chest has to do with uh, fucking gaming. She's on like she's an attention whore. I'm like I'm on Twitter going, what the fuck is Girlwood? And, well, somebody answered my question, but I'm just like, I'm just like, what the fuck is Girlwood? Video game. Look but I want to know. I'm gonna tell you what I was told. Look it up on UrbanDictionary.com, or just Google it. But I'm thinking, I'll tell you. You know what? Uh, maybe if maybe Ubisoft, if I buy some of your games, if you send Alicia Taylor to um, share some of Girl Girlwood with me, I might consider buying some more of your games. Yeah, I think I <laughs> think I got a clue what Girlwood means. But anyway. Um, so, you know, they showed Watch Dogs, which, um, I don't know, I, I, is it just me? I Why? can't get into this game. I'm looking at this game, I'm just like, I, 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 I. everybody's like, oh, watch this. this game looks so great, I just, I don't, I don't get it. Consider this. What are you doing? You'll see. You have a cell phone, okay? But it's not just any cell phone. What you do with the cell phone is you turn off the lights. Yeah, you can to tone the grid you with, like, the cell phone. You can fuck with the city tablet, itself. And you got, and, like, I'm just like, I don't know what... You just fuck with the city itself. <laughs> I don't know what this, fuck uh, with the cops, the government, everybody. I don't see the appeal of the game. I don't know. Everybody's like just like, hoo, 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 and you know, everybody's getting a version of that too. It's um, like Wii, Wii U, PS3, Xbox One, Xbox 360, PS4, and everybody's getting a turn on. Probably because this guy's the, this guy with his cell phone and all his power, abilities just well, apparently James you know Bond. how 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 the game is is like the world is surveilling you, and this guy has the ability to tap into surveillance and manipulate and stuff like that. Um, I guess it sounds cool, but I don't know, like I said, I can't get excited about it. Some people are like, yeah, yeah I'm good on them, but I, I don't get it. You know, there's Assassin's Creed, which, uh, they just showed a trailer. This is Ubisoft? They just showed Ubisoft. actual gameplay. They showed actual gameplay later on. And well, like where, the, well, when would we get to that? In the something, PS4 conference. Something happened in the PS4 conference. So, uh, you know, I was wondering with that, and I was like, you know what, I, I tried the Assassin's Creed series, I don't know. I, I It sounds like something might be interesting, because all the, the, the medieval stuff, but I don't know, I just... Also, I forgot if it was Ubisoft or EA, but I heard they were having these weird sound issues where you hear people in the back, back and all So, that. you know, I tried that, and I'm just like, I eh, just, I don't know. So, like I said, maybe, maybe I'm just getting too old for this gaming crap, and I just don't care anymore. <laughs> um, and now you're old. Let's see, what else is there? Moving on. And then, yo, know, yeah, and their, their final big reveal was The Division. Did they say anything about Rayman Legends? I, if they did, I missed it. So uh, yeah, the the division is another another shooter, huh? Another online shooter. Ooh. This one's in third person. And they're sitting there showing the gameplay, and you got the people like, apparently you know they're people playing, and you hear them online, and like they could not they could not have sounded more bored. I mean, you can actually hear these people like you can actually hear these people turning the pages of the script while they're playing the game. It's like, really? oh, I well maybe I may, might be exaggerating just a tiny bit. But seriously, <laughs> these people were just sound the bored as fuck playing this game. It's like, yeah, yeah, we got I'm our like, money. Oh, okay. Can we go now? We hear some shooter shooting going on. Oh, I think it's something on police station. Okay, we got our money. Go Can we go now? Yeah. Pull this mask. And they get into action of shooting. They're like, oh, oh, here come some guys. Oh, okay, let's let's fight them. They're like, okay, I, I'm covering over here, and they have some girl in there. They all just sounded fucking bored. They got their and money. They just wanted to get out of there. This game I can't is so. Blame them. This game is so fucking weird. The co most convoluted plot I have ever heard. Where apparently there were some. Was like, First, it talks about oh we're we're dependent on this infrastructure and what's going to happen if it falls, and there was this uh there's experiment that happened in 2001 that killed a killed millions of people, and they're talking about all of a sudden they go into like um the biggest shopping day of the year Black Friday oh the money will be tainted and everybody like die I I what the fuck is this thing I don't know what the fuck they're talking about it's like the weirdest convoluted plot to get into like the basic third person shooting game ever I'm like I don't know what this was. I mean, I kind of feel glad I missed it. I don't know. I don't know what this fucking was. Oh, um, Black Friday is the cause of the world dying, which wouldn't surprise me if that ever became the case in real life. I'm thinking, life. like, are they making like a game about Black Friday here? What's going on here? Well, considering what happens on a Black Friday, kind of okay, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, but apparently, but, like, I guess something there's some kind of there's supposed to be some kind of virus on the money that caused people to go insane. I don't know. Just, I was totally lost trying to figure out what the hell they were talking about in this game. I look at this game, and I'm thinking like. That's all right. That's a really horrible. Thought. It'd be like if I threw a lemon at you, and like three days later, an apocalypse happened. Yeah, I don't. I don't Just because I threw that one lemon at you, and then you know they showed that, and Ubisoft ended with the worst fucking like 
exit line delivered by Alicia Taylor. Okay, we have the we have the booth ready. Go do that shit. I'm like, really? That that was your ending ending line? I did not see it. Do that shit? <sighs> Man, that is not. You're supposed to be like a professional company. Go <laughs> do that shit, yes. And the, your ending line that's is what we're in, go do that shit. shit. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. I think that's what she had in mind. She wanted to get out of there too. I don't know. It's just like, do that shit. I'm like, that? That's your fucking exit line? Oh my god, that was horrible. I'm just <laughs> go do that shit. She probably wanted to be out of there too. Oh my god. Oh, I was like, you get. I, you don't see the expressions on people's faces, but you could probably, but you probably get the feeling that they. I was like, they you, you should have done the done the uh, conference. And now for myself, topless or no, topless or bikini or something like that. But I don't know. That was the fucking worst ending line to a <laughs> conference I have ever fucking heard. So, I mean, I wish I could do that at work, give some speech, and be like, all right, let's go do this shit. But yeah, that happened. So you know, a couple hours later, eventually you get to the PS4, no, the PlayStation conference. Yeah, six o'clock. It took about fifteen to twenty minutes. To oh start. my god! They start up. Oh yeah, they're late. By the way, I was, at first I thought, well, Microsoft. Chill. I heard there's an actual reason behind why they were late because they're having a problem getting people in by the time they got. I was thinking, in. like, did, did Microsoft pay all media to not show the VS conference or something like that? So they finally get and they start talking about the Vita. Vita this. Vita, 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 Vita. Oh god, don't start with the Vita. Nobody's here for the Vita. Nobody cares about the Vita, Sony. It's done. Just move on. Do your PS4 and just give the fuck up in handhelds. You're you're done. Also, oh, you're, for all the with all those have you ever noticed that they were advertising this thing called Smart Glass? Oh, that was for they, they introduced this last year at E3 and like the whole Smart Glass tablet with Microsoft. Nobody cares. I heard. So, every, I also heard Sony's doing it with some of their games. Well, yeah, but, but for them, there's the Vita with it though. Like you can connect the Vita to the PS4. Is what they're going with. Um, same with uh, you know, just like the Wii U or like that. Only this time. You gotta buy a separate. I don't know. So they talk about Vita. All the games come with Vita, and one of the games is God of War One and Two HD on the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Which how I many have, fucking? We already have a collection somewhere. How how many Vita? How many God of War collections do we need? I mean, all right. We're done. Just stop it with the collections, especially on the handheld. You have enough collections. Just stop. Please. It's already it's already enough that we have to have a Vita with our PS4. You already have all five games HD on on PS3, and hey, that's great. Just stop it with the collections. Just no more. Please, please stop it with the God of War collections. We're done. Yes, God of War was a good series. Let's move on. So eventually they uh, move on to you know they're showing and they show all these they're games. They're showing a bunch of games for coming over PS3. None of which was Killer is Dead, by the way. I'm looking forward to that game the most of everything, and I didn't see anything. Killer is Dead. Uh, yes. That's made by Sudafi. It kind of looks like No More Heroes. It looked pretty interesting, but I hope that game comes out for PS3. I'll buy it. One of the first games they showed was Infamous Second Son. It's a Suda 51. Hey, we didn't get one. No, don't jump ahead. <laughs> and we'll get to that. Was that the first game they showed off? Um, I yeah, but we're not. We'll talk. We're gonna do what Sony did and take forever to get to the game part of the conference. <laughs> so eventually, you no, know, they show the system, which looks like an italicized. Italicized Xbox, Xbox One. I said, like, it looks just like the Xbox One. So like, like, it's, a, just, it's an Xbox One, but italicized. Ooh! Yeah, an innovating. A, a slanted cable box. It's innovation. Oh my god, seriously? It'd be like if I took that lamp over there and just took the I'd shape. I'd be like, I think they. It, I think his original <laughs> shape was like Xbox One, but they saw Xbox One's like, uh, we need to redesign this quick. So the guy, the guy just goes, eh? Ah! Genius, you get a raise. Seriously, you'd be <laughs> like, if I took the lamp over there, took off the things that there, it's a new lamp. Perfectly new. It's like, it's like, look, look, new phone. <laughs> so, there was that, and like, I don't know, but I was like, whatever, and they start talking about, oh, partnership, they bring up the guy, president of Sony movie division, I'm like, I'm thinking like, oh crap. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, 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 no. It's like, I already saw this going. That's bad. And they're showing, oh, collaboration with music, and collaboration with Jack White, I'm like, I don't give a I fuck, don't I don't like White Jack is. White. And, I don't, you can probably never hit the white traps. So you're not missing nothing. Um, so it's yeah. Like oh, gun oh, gun. we have this big music promotion with Jack White. I'm like, at one point they they actually showed like WWE payback. I'm like, don't fucking care. Oh yeah, they're gonna start doing pay per views. They want to do pay per views too. You, know, you can do pay per views on PS4. It's funny. I called it. I said I bet they're gonna. Sh I set up. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna say yeah. WrestleMania and then WrestleMania. And, and, and back payback. See WWE payback was the upcoming um WWE. <laughs> so which was far off. Does no good since. Payback is like what this week, and PS4 is not coming out until later. Nobody's gonna buy Payback and, unless they're already doing it now. I don't know. I gotta. They call the pay-per-view Payback because you want 
your money back when it's over. <laughs> I gotta turn on my PS4 and see uh, my not PS4. Turn on my PS3 and see what changes came about for E3. And they're doing Flickster and nobody cares. So they're doing the whole oh look, that was access to movies. Don't give a shit. Bet you have to pay a dollar for each one. Like look, Xbox is trying to do TV. Nobody cares. Sony is trying to do all this movie stuff. Nobody cares. Then they got the the rent the Red Box one, Red Box instant thing. And I'm like, I don't know how that's gonna work. If I want to watch Netflix, I got a TV. Oh yeah, there's Netflix. I'm like, I got Netflix. I got Netflix on like fucking everything I own. All right, yeah, Netflix is it's a, well, I don't have it on this phone, but I can easily get it. Um, Netflix on my phone. Netflix on my 3DS computer. TV. PS3. Why would you the the Wii U, the Wii. Netflix is fucking everywhere in my house, alright? I go to sleep, I see Netflix. It's in my room somewhere. Alright? Sick of Netflix. The I mean, color on your blanket <laughs> reminds you of Netflix. Cause the color on my blanket is the same color as Netflix. Sonic shoe reminds you of Netflix. Netflix. I got Netflix out oh, and you just oh. killed Sonic. I don't care. So, uh, he's, going, he's going that way anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, Netflix is everywhere. <laughs> he's gonna Nobody cares. There anyway. They finally get some games. They didn't want to show anything we didn't already know about. You know, Infamous, this, that, no. Infamous thing, Second uh, Son, I'll be honest. It. It actually looked decent. It looks all right, but I played Infamous One and it was all right. And I played, I didn't, I played some Infamous Two and I thought, same shit. I mean, I gotta finish Infamous Two one day. It's Infamous, but with fire, but with a pyromaniac. Yeah. And I was watching somebody on Twitter. I think it was Clement. He was saying, well, if you if you do if you go the good route in Infamous, do you get blue fire? <laughs> Which is actually a decent question. I wonder, how, I wonder if that's true or not, or if it's red fire for good and black fire for bad. I don't know. Well, we'll see. Because I'm pretty sure they're gonna do the whole good or bad mechanic, whichever way you want to go. And, Later uh, on, they show uh, the Elder Scrolls Online. Elder Scrolls Online. It's supposed to come out in spring next year. They got some exclusive beta deal that's supposed to be on PS4, which... Uh, all right. If well, I we'll buy see. the PS4 for that, whatever. If I get a PS4, I might try it Honestly, I think it might be better if you get it off the PC. The only thing I'm worried about is... is let's get this out. I'll talk about that later. No, let's get it out of the way now. Because, oh, okay, so, you know, they're talking about PS Plus or PS4. Which, it sounds basically like you're going to have to pay f to play online on this one. If you want to play multiplayer, you have to pay for PS Plus, which I fought for the past two years. I have been saying that they're going to make you pay for it in PS on PS4. That the PS Plus was nothing more. Well, it was probably it was probably a little more, but you know, it was basically a test to see how many people were willing to pay for a Sony online service, and it was successful. You know, a lot of people ran out. They bought PS Plus, and they thought, all right, so we're going to make you. Yeah, was PS Plus easily affordable? Well, let's see. For PS right, Plus right now it? is for it's for fifty dollars for an entire year. It'll probably be the same thing. I know they're saying oh for five dollars a month, which you know they're basically just kind of estimating less than five dollars a month. They're basically estimating on a monthly basis. So uh, I would say you know it's probably gonna be fifty sixty dollars for the whole month. Which I'm saying if they're gonna make you pay for it, it better be damn good. It better be Xbox Live caliber type of online stuff because you know it was free for ps3 and like spotty as it was i mean you could say well you're not it's, it's well if i have to pay 50 60 bucks for a year yeah I, yeah that's good i mean or if, five if, it's, if, if they're gonna make you pay for online then online better be like just spot on excellent but, and it better know. not be like how uh, assassin's creed 4 went in the uh, conference yeah. but you know and yeah so they're showing assassin's creed gameplay and uh it glitched and it something froze. went entirely wrong. It turned. I was watching some guy on YouTube. He fa he said it froze, and uh, they had to cancel it out. So uh, like what what somebody said is like they might have pulled a, <laughs> they might have been like a, a they might have pulled a milli van a milli vanilli whatever you call it, is that there was no the person that was playing wasn't actually playing. They were just standing over the controller while the thing was like auto, and it it glitched and they're like okay let's let's uh, try to hide yeah. that. Speaking of which. No, go back to Microsoft for a second. When they were showing that trail for Battlefield 4, it wasn't going up. The whole, the whole like Jessica Simpson thing, basically. Where, not Jessica Simpson. The Ashley Simpson thing, where she's about, you know, oh, oh, well, we got caught lip syncing. Holy shit! So you know, they tried to rush that as much as possible. Jennifer Lopez, but and uh, Star Spangled Banner. Whatever, but not when Jennifer Lopez. It was uh, who the fuck cares? We're getting off topic here. But anyway, so you know, then she showed Watch Dogs, and like, okay, everybody showed Watch Dogs. I'm gonna. This go went on for about ten minutes. They also showed something called Dark Sorcerer, which fuck was that? Oh man, I was so pissed about that. I mean, I'm looking at this game, I'm thinking like from Quantum Dream, we're like, holy shit, okay, this game looks pretty good. You know, it's uh, it's like, okay, it looks pretty good, and apparently it turns out to be a tech demo where it was like, it was a blooper or whatever. 
Now I heard there's actually a, I haven't seen it yet, there's a 12 minute, I don't know, 12 minute video or whatever. I think it is an actual game they're doing, but what they showed was just part of the, uh, it's part of the act. And they eventually the guy's like, oh, I messed up the line or whatever. And then you have a little, uh, little troll who is like, uh, you know, the ethnic goblin. troll, goblin, whatever. But, you know, it was a, basically, it was a racist moment because the Trevor's like, oh, damn, you scared the crap out of him. I'm like, oh, God, get the fuck out of here with that shit. So if it is an actual game, it looks pretty interesting. So hopefully they'll show more footage of that later. So I think that'll be pretty cool. Um, it, it's really pretty cool, too. It looks, all, it looks like all medieval and something. That's like the kind of shit I, I like. So. Don't forget Mad Max. Mad Max. Who the fuck cares about Mad Max? Mad Max was like a movie from 40, 50 years ago. <laughs> Well, maybe not that long, but it was a while back, and the time for a video game was back then. Nobody's gonna care now. A lot of people, are gonna look, a lot of people today are like, "What's Mad Max?" That kind of was based on a movie series, so whatever. Kingdom Hearts three has finally been announced. And they announced King people have been waiting for for they years. They announced Kingdom Hearts three, which I'm pretty sure you know won Sony the conference right there. Even though we probably won't see the game until PS6. No. What, really, what, <laughs> what really won Sony the conference was when they announced... I'll get to that. No, don't, don't get to that. And you know, Final Fantasy Versus 13 it's is... It's now Final Fantasy Final 15. 15. Who didn't see that coming? About fucking time they made a decision on that. Because no. it's been in development hell. It's been in development on the PS3 for like since the beginning. And they said, you know what, I'm going to get 15. But it's not Final Fantasy anymore, but yeah, whatever. And it, still, it still looks... I don't know. It still looks like kind of... Uh, I still not that interested, but you know, for those of you who are, hopefully they learn something. And it's not gonna be like thirteen like, but I I'm skeptical. And yes, they announced Kingdom Hearts three, which I really don't give a crap about, but I know that right there that sold systems. So that sold a lot of people on the PS. On it's the PS three exclu PS four exclusive. I don't know if that's true yet, but it might as well be because let's face it, they need something. And okay, so you know they eventually went to. And okay, you don't need micro, you don't need to be on basically whatever Microsoft ha whatever Microsoft has done with the Xbox One, P Sony has done has not done with their like we're not gonna do DRM and we're we are user game friendly. Meanwhile, anymore. all the people in the crowd are going crazy over this. But and the, I'm wondering if this will like hurt Sony in the long run because Microsoft the whole DRM thing might be enticing to some developers, and they'll be like and Microsoft might be like ooh come here. DRM, you have all the power, which I think, you know, the developers should have the power, but I think they're going about the wrong way with the whole DRM thing, but, you know, a lot of people are like, well, Sony is going to use whole DRM, no, it's going to be anti-DRM, uh, I don't think I want to do that on that system, so, I don't know if it er is going to end up hurting in the long run, but, you know, they said, okay, you don't have to do 24-hour check-in, you don't have to be online all the time, you don't even have to be online to play your single-player game, which I guess is something that Microsoft is doing. And then they announced, and the price? Three nine. I'm surprised, Three nine. Three nine. Three nine. The guy might as well just walked up on stage and went, hey, Microsoft, fuck you. That's pretty much it. <laughs> they might as well have just said that. I mean, come okay. on, if Ubisoft can end with, let's do this shit, I'm sure, <laughs> why could Sony <laughs> took a rocket... Took Why could PlayStation launcher? just say, put the rocket in? Fuck you. They lifted up the rocket launcher and they blew off Microsoft's face with it. So, and that was pretty much, you know, the end of the conference or anything. They oh, they Weskered it. And, you know, they showed, uh, uh, Destiny, which looks just like Halo. Mm -hmm. Another, another shoot. Like, that's the whole thing. I'm looking at this whole, like, this is our next gen. Just a bunch of fucking good looking first person shooters. Yeah. I'm like, I, I don't know. So, we'll see. Like I said, I want to, I'm going to keep an eye on this sorcerer, whatever, thing that they're doing. So we'll see. But I haven't really seen anything that makes me want to run out and get a PS4. So we'll go ahead and uh, let's go on to Nintendo. I have not read anything from there except for the Mega Man is going to be in a you know they Smash, which I don't believe something's not right there. Um, which they did. They're uh you know they did their E3 direct. They didn't have an actual conference, which uh, you know based on what I've seen in the Nintendo direct, it was probably a good move they didn't do that because either way they would have embarrassed themselves. But you know basically uh, Nintendo showing all these games. All There's a which, new Donkey Kong Country game. All of which are going to come out in 2014, basically. So I don't know. I don't know what the hell is coming out for Wii U in 2013, but apparently it's nothing by Nintendo. Except, well, they're saying Mario, the new Mario game will be out in December of this year, but, you know, that's, uh, that's one game, and, you know, Nintendo is notorious.
We got this month and it'll be out a few months later, so. It's supposed to be the year of Luigi. So I'm about ready to, fuck that, I'm about ready to, you know, just re rebox my Wii and just put it away and like when the games come out, then I'll pretend, yay, I'm going to unbox the Wii. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not, but. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Arkham, oh yeah, and they showed other games like Arkham Origins, but um, overall. And something called games. Black Gate where you play as villains and, you and you're trying to kill Batman. And Arkham Origins, turns out, will not have Kevin Conroy as Batman. It has heard... Roger Craig Smith trying to sound like Kevin Conroy. I mean, I heard he wasn't, and then I found it, and then I heard he was, and then I heard he wasn't again. So also, like, should have mentioned this earlier. The first uh, thing Microsoft showed was Metal Gear Solid Five. Oh. Yeah, that's... It looked like a nice movie. But I know... <laughs> it's going to be a wonderful movie. Yeah. Metal Gear Solid Four was. And I know everybody's a little pissed off about micro about not Microsoft about them not having David Hayter as Snake or I'm like I really don't I'm not that pissed off about it at the same time I'm like I don't know David Hayter's been around for like over he's been around for like over a little I don't know why years. Keith or Sutherland would be what I don't know what like Keith or Sutherland is all popular all of a sudden I mean he did twenty four and all of a sudden he's been around for years and all, like he was he was a good actor nobody I didn't hate him but like he didn't make it big until. What? He did 24, and I see some other show touch. Now, oh, look, now I'm, I'm the voice of the snake. I don't know. I, I don't get why that's... David Harrod had a good 15 years. So, whatever. But I think they're saying something like, oh, well, we, he was just older. Like, he couldn't do an older snake. Uh, he did old snake. Yeah. Anybody remember that? When snake turned old in Metal Gear Solid 4? I don't know. I think they should have just ended the Metal Gear Solid series with 4, because this one is like, it's another prequel, midquel... Well, whatever you want to call it, I don't know. It's At like, this point, the series is basically on three ground zero. Uh, this is Walker, basically the story zeros, about what finally five. happened with him, how like Snake and Liquid are born, and how he started to slowly turn into a robot <laughs> because he dies so many times, and whatever. But there's that. You know, like I said, the Oakham Origins thing. Not to mention also in Metal Gear Solid Five, we, we, they had to stick in an Otacon of some sort. I will probably... Oh, Master Miller, that's the big thing. Ooh, Master Miller. Yeah. I like the part where uh, Master Miller's like all chained up and all that, and all uh, Snake does is he puts the glasses on. All of a sudden, Ma Miller mans up. It's like, what the fuck? So, like, and I'm thinking I'll just buy Arkham Origins for the Wii U, so, I have something, so the Wii U has something to play. Because right yeah. now, it's looking like... Uh, <laughs> even Nintendo have been in the Wii U this year. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you guys? <laughs> so, you know, and Smash Brothers coming out for both the 3DS... And the Wii U. I think the 3DS version is going to be like a cell shaded version. Uh, maybe they'll come out with the 3DS version first. I think they should. That would uh, that would help. I think that would help uh, ease the like stand the tide and ease gamers as they wait for the actual like console game. And they showed Bayonetta 2, which again I think sometime in 2014. And I'm thinking like, oh, and one of the new one of the new characters for Smash Brothers is uh, Villager. Who's Villager? From Animal Crossing. What? You know, Namco is supposed to be cold developing this thing, and I'm hoping they throw at least some Namco characters in there. They probably won't. At least probably, one. They'll probably stick all the backwards characters in there, though, knowing them. And Mega Man is a smash, because, uh, well, Capcom isn't doing them. They probably just gave Mega Man a, a Nintendo. It's like, you know what? No, we, don't, we don't need them anymore. You go ahead and take them. So there's that. Um, I don't know if Sonic will be back in Smash. In smash but I don't think he should be. But uh, we'll see what's going on with that. And they oh, showed Sega and Nintendo are, are partnered, so probably will show up in the news. And I saw footage. Oh, I saw footage of, of Sonic Sonic Lost World, and I, I'm not thrilled. I'm like, uh, I don't know. Although I think it's kind of cool that when you get the speed up, the speed up item, it plays like a, the riff from uh, Sonic Heroes. Well, that was pretty cool. And you know, they showed the obligatory 3D Mario game, which uh, I gotta say, I wasn't exactly feeling the cat suit. There's a cat suit it's now? It's a cat suit now. <laughs> and I'm looking, I'm looking at this thing going, oh crap, here we go. Oh, no. And then they show, uh, it's four player. You can, I, I think the concept of being having a four player Mario game in a 3D setting, that's neat. And I was kind of sold on that one. I'm like, okay, that looks cool. Even though I probably end up playing by myself and nobody will join me. But you can play as Mario, Luigi, Peach, and Toad. So basically it's the, it's the Super Mario 2. Super Mario, Super, Mario Super Mario 2, Mario 2 and 3D. Yeah, basically. I, I, and you can play all four characters at the same time, which I think is neat. I thought it was kind of cool. Oh, the fact that you can play all three in, uh... Itchy. 
<laughs> the fact you can play all three in the um, all four in the game is actually pretty cool. And the Bayonetta 2 trailer, which again, probably sometimes I think I'm gonna go ahead and I think I need to pick up Bayonetta 1 because I haven't played that one yet. I've got to see what the big deal is, so see if I want to get the Wii version or not. So overall, it wasn't that great of a conference. So, yet. you know, like I said, Nintendo pretty much, uh, yeah, I wouldn't expect anything too spectacular from them. It only remains to be seen what the other companies will do. Yeah, there's a new Donkey Kong game, which I hope has Donkey Kong in it. <laughs> I know Dixie's supposed to be in it, but... And of course, a new Mario, uh, Mario Kart, which looks kind of cool, but you know... It's just Mario Kart. Oh, and the new Xenoblade. Well, they're not saying they're not calling it Xenoblade, right? We think it's Xenoblade. It's the X trailer. Looks pretty cool. So I'll definitely, I definitely want to get that one. I'll definitely think I'm gonna pick that one up. And uh, I don't know if I missed anything. I no. So. Like I said, like closer Nintendo Direct. I kind of expected that. I know everybody's like, oh, wait till E3. Nintendo's gonna drop the bomb. Well, they didn't really. <laughs> So that's why I didn't, like, I knew Nintendo wasn't going to do anything special. You know, they showed what we expected, and it looks neat. It looks good, and I'll, it looks like stuff, I definitely want to pick that stuff up when it comes out, but in the meantime, um, Nintendo is just making sure that I'm going to spend a lot of time outside. <laughs> so is every other game company. I mean, I had pretty the much. The only one who did anything decent at E3 was PS4, was Sony. Even Sony was kind of a boring conference. I mean, the only really neat part was when they said the price and all that stuff, but even that was like, oh, whatever, so... You gotta pay for online, so I don't know. It was pretty much what I expect from E3. All filler, no killer. You know, I didn't really see anything that made me want to go ooh. So in Microsoft, I'm just I'm, I wouldn't plan on getting an Xbox One to begin with, and they didn't cheat my mind. So <laughs> Microsoft is dead at this point. See, what I'm not seeing is you know JRPGs. I'm just seeing a bunch of or hell, you know what? I see a bunch of shooters, but, you know, I'm not seeing what I want to see, you know. I would like to see beat-em-ups or sla hack and slash returns. That is what I was looking forward to. That's what I really liked about, uh, you know, the Metal Gear Rising. It was pretty much a beat-em-up. You know, games like, uh, you know, what are you doing? Nothing. Games like... I'm saying, I'm yawning, a, I've been yawning this entire thing because yeah. the conferences were so boring. I gotta be yawning, you fucking idiot. Thanks for that. <laughs> Seriously, though, that's how boring the conferences were, I don't even want to sit here and do so, this. So yeah, I'm looking, I want to see, you know, I don't see anything like, I want to actually have beat him. That's why I was kind of looking for the Killer is Dead thing, which I heard no information about. It's Suda51 game. And that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a bunch of shooters in this generation, and I just don't care. Alright? You're not sucking me in with these shooters. I'm sorry. Watch Dogs, don't care. Um, Destiny, don't care. Everybody's like, everybody's like Destiny. Oh, oh, Destiny. Oh, I'm just in Rainbows over Destiny. Don't care. I think it's the launch title for the PS4. I don't know, whatever. Destiny, just you don't care. Watch Dogs don't care. The uh, the division, just I don't know. I don't know who they're aiming for with these games. I'm sure it's gonna have its audience and gonna make its millions of dollars. I'm just I don't care. So I'm gonna go ahead and give the whole E3 overall because yes, we are grading this. F. Wow, oh, really? You gonna get, you gonna drop the F on that? Would you? I was going to give it a C plus. I mean, hey, I'm not going to influence you. I'm going to give it a D plus. I'm not going to influence you. You want to give it an F, give it an F. I'm not, I'm not going to knock okay. it for it. Okay. Microsoft gets an F. EA gets a G minus. G, there's no G. No, there no. is now, damn it. We're not doing G. There is now. They don't even deserve an F. Oh, gr since Microsoft Ubisoft gets an F plus. <laughs> and Sony gets a D plus. You're just going to give the whole thing an F. You're done. <laughs> I was gonna give the whole thing overall a C plus, but you know, you know, but whatever. Maybe I'm, okay, C minus. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna go C minus. So you're giving it an F. Holy three is an F. Yes. Fine. Whatever. I'm not. I'm it's only Sam and Grace was uh, PS4, but the other stuff was overall so shitty that it just brings the entire thing down. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it was shitty. I'm just gonna say it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't spectacular, and that's. I, I don't expect spectacular E3s at all, ever. And this one was no different. Because the last good one was like 10 years ago. But at least, at least Sony learned the lesson with the whole... At least they listened to the, yeah, maybe, to the people. Maybe we'll do a whole uh, easier price thing or whatever, so... At least Sony has the... has the uh, get is smart enough to realize that sometimes they should just listen to their fans. Microsoft does not. And Microsoft is pissed. I know. If I, you want them to change, it's not going to happen. Microsoft has its defenders. You know, the people... All the gamers from around the world gonna... could come together and the foreign ones can learn English. But... 
it still wouldn't be enough. Well, let's face Microsoft. the fact that the next generation console war is here. Also, Germany and Australia, not too happy with the Xbox oh, yeah. One. But Nintendo is out of the running for console war because they're not doing anything this year. They're done. We'll see again. We'll see you next year, Nintendo. <laughs> so right now, maybe we won't. No, we'll see you, Nintendo. Yeah, I'm sure they'll do something. They still got the 3DS, but we'll see you again. We'll see you next year, Nintendo. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, that is the that's conference. That is great. And this is our review. And yes, this was a very extended edition. I am hungry. So we will see you guys next time.